Do you want to know what the Pi Core team has been up to and what kind of progress they made recently in Pi Network? Well, then this is the video you've been looking for. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and in this video I'm going to share the details of Pi Network's latest tech and product update with you that explains what the team has been working on during May 2022. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. With that out of the way, let's talk about Pi Network. Just like me, many pioneers are starting to get anxious and can't wait to complete the required KYC verification to then receive their Pi coins transferred into their Pi Network mainnet wallets and finally start using them. Unfortunately, there's still a limited number of KYC slots per country and as a result, many of us still get to see the participation limit error whenever we attempt to complete the KYC verification. But that might soon become a thing of the past, considering that many of the improvements the team made lately focused on improving the scalability and throughput of the entire KYC process. In other words, more pioneers should be able to submit their KYC data and each request should be processed faster, which means that it shouldn't take too long anymore for many pioneers to actually complete their KYC verification. And with some of those pioneers then joining the list of validators, the number of daily processed KYZ requests should actually increase even further. All of that obviously sounds great, but considering that there are more than 33 million users in total, it could still take some time until each of us gets their chance to complete the KYZ verification. Besides that, the Pi Network team has been working on the migration process that then will be used to actually transfer balances into users' mainnet wallets according to the latest tech update. And that's obviously another crucial step that hopefully will be done by the time most pioneers pass their KYC verification as well. If not, it would mean additional waiting times even after we pass KYC, but considering how long we've already been with the project, a few weeks or even months more or less don't really make a difference at this point, at least in my opinion. Actually, it's quite the opposite. The longer it takes until users get to use their balance on the at first enclosed mainnet, the more time third party developers have to finish and improve the apps that will be available on the mainnet first as the first use cases for Pi Network and your Pi Coins. After all, it also wouldn't do us any good if we all receive our Pi Coins into our mainnet wallets just to then have no place to use them in any way. As far as updates and progress go, there have also been a couple of bug fixes and security improvements, mostly related to the registration process and the password reset or recovery functionality to make sure that those processes run smoothly. That's obviously something very important that most users, however, will never need, use or actively notice, but it's still worth pointing out. Another interesting update comes from the Pi Network community on Twitter. There, the hashtag Pi Consensus has been trending in some areas with many users posting a consensus value of $314,159 per Pi coin. I personally attended a Twitter space and discussed that topic for around four hours a couple weeks ago, and that's why I first heard about that proposal value. Since then I've seen hundreds if not thousands of users that believe that this is the value Pi will have at launch and that plan to use Pi for that value on the enclosed mainnet with one user going as far as to more or less offer a CVU condo for 25 Pi coins. And that is where things get a little bit complicated. As you may recall in one of my last videos about Pi Network I pointed out that the number one factor that will determine Pi Networks or Pi Coins value is the belief or in this case consensus of the community. Based on that, a value of around 300,000 per Pi coin is in theory possible, but once we consider human nature, I don't think that a value like that is even remotely possible. Not even considering the use case, adaption, supply and so on, we only have to consider the following example to understand why it simply is beyond reasonable to hope for that value. If we look at a first world country like the United States, where the median income in 2019 was 35,977 US dollars per year. If Pi trades at almost 10 times that value, every US pioneer with 10, 20 or 100 Pi would simply use his Pi to buy expensive items and sell them on eBay and would by selling just one Pi make as much money as they earn for almost 10 years of work and that's simply not possible. 
especially since people would outbid themselves and drive the value down. Because if you are willing to use one pie at $314,000, the next guy will be willing to give them away for $300,000 since it still is a ton of money and might change his life and the next for $250,000 and so on. If we then consider countries with an average salary of only 2,400 to 3,600 US dollars per year, well, they are guaranteed people that would trade one pie for an item worth that much or even less because it's still an incredible value from their perspective and still makes a noticeable difference in their life. And that goes on and on until we get to the point where some users are willing to use they are 100 or 1000 pi to get something worth 100 or maybe 50 US dollars because they might simply need that fiat money urgently and compared to their disposable income it still might make a noticeable difference for them. And only after we reach that bottom would we slowly see the real consensus value that will likely be very far away from $314,000 per Pi coin. In short, while I believe that Pi coin can have a decent value, there is in my opinion zero chance that the value will be in a range that would make every single Pi network user that owns a bit more than three Pi coins a millionaire. However, I know this is something the entire Pi Consensus Twitter community disagrees with and probably also a fair share of people watching this video and I'm okay with that. Because if I'm right, I'm still going to be excited about whatever value Pi reaches and if I'm wrong, well then I got a lot of money that I didn't expect I would get in the first place. To conclude this video, let me ask you, what's your opinion? Leave a comment down below or use the link in the description below to join our Discord community and discuss Pi and its potential value with me and the community there. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.